and ever wondered about the true demand for Bitcoin spot-based exchange-traded funds, ETFs? So let's dive into JP Morgan's recent warning regarding the institutional interest in Bitcoin ETFs. Um, JP Morgan suggests that the $25 billion inflows into Bitcoin ETFs since January might be overestimated. Uh, they argue that a significant portion of this amount could be a rotation from um, uh, existing cryptocurrency wallets. Uh, the bank estimates the real net inflows to be around $12 billion, challenging the idea of substantial institutional demand. Uh, another concern for JP Morgan is the current price of Bitcoin. They believe the price is high relative to its production cost, which might limit further inflows into Bitcoin ETFs in the near future. As of now, Bitcoin is trading at $66,979 with a 24-hour volume of $27.5 billion and a market cap of $1.32 trillion. Uh, in contrast to Bitcoin ETFs, Ethereum-based ETFs have not seen the same level of interest with a total market cap of $279.92 million and a 24-hour volume of $10.74, 1 million. They are far behind Bitcoin ETF's total market cap of $80.71 billion and 24-hour volume of $1.95 billion. Uh, however, not everyone agrees with JP Morgan's assessment. Uh, prominent analysts like James Seafard and Eric Balchunas question the concept of recycled Bitcoin inflows and JP Morgan's skepticism towards ETFs. They argue that ETFs have historically performed well in various categories. With JP Morgan's warning, it's essential to remain cautious amidst booming demand. However, contrasting expert views highlight the complexity of these financial instruments, leaving room for continued debate and observation. Coinpedia, in the cryptocurrency landscape. Stay tuned to Coinpedia for the latest updates. Why not end with a joke? Why on cryptocurrencies ever get lost? Because they always know their Bitcoin address. With that said, thanks for watching and stay tuned for watching also the next episode.